If we go into the solutions directory, you can actually see the solution file that CMake generated for. If we start this, we'll see a solution containing uh, the game module, which we build and output here, and modify the source code, as well as rebuild it within Visual Studio if you want. And this is the exact same kind of structure and flow with Game SDK, and in essence, mm -hmm. where you have a solution and you have projects, exactly. and how you set it up. There's really no difference, except that this one's a little bit more manageable. Exactly, yeah. So as before, as soon as this window pops up, we have uh, the various configurations. It's a bit different when it comes to CMake and the templates. Since we practically just switch between three configurations being debug, if you really want to find some bugs and don't want any optimizations to get in your way, release if you're actually deploying to users, and release with debug info is pretty much what profile is in terms of optimizing quite a bit, but leaving some debug information in so you can actually find out what's going wrong when it does. Let's actually go with the debug info one if we hit that. Cool. So if we wanted to, we could just right click here and rebuild the solution. And this should rebuild or technically build the solution quite quickly. Considering oh, yeah. uh, it's a very small project. It shouldn't take long at all. Especially compared to the engine that takes 14, well, 20 minutes. Or yeah, so. it was 15 minutes or so. Yeah. So going through this, mm -hmm. pushing out the code. Yeah, there you go. And then it output a new binary to this directory. Cool. So as long as we go in here and modify the source files, we can make a change, recompile, and test it right away. What okay. we can also do is set a starter project. And then if we go to the configuration settings, we can actually check what it does while debugging. And it boots the game SDK executable and then provides the path to our project file telling the engine that, yeah, we want to use an external project that's completely separate from the engine. And then if we simply press the local Windows debugger button, we'll be launching the game and be able to test it right away. Nice. And this is the logical approach where you would just be debugging yep. with your game code. So you would be typing in, you'd get your entities, or you would get whatever mm -hmm. you actually throw in there. But you still have to basically build it up inside of the editor. You can't just hop into the launcher. You have to place things, and you have to structure them. That's you could technically do it all through code, but that would be more of a procedural sense. Oh, yeah. Like hard coding. Pretty much. It depends on how you work. A lot of the time, if you're doing a bigger game, you have to jump into the sandbox, modify some things, test it out with the, with the engine itself, and then go back to the code and tweak and just go back and forth. It's all about iterating. And that's why it's good that this compiles so fast as well. Uh, in that you can just recompile in just a few seconds, go into the game, see, okay, did this work? No? Okay, then let's go back into the code and fix it. 